I have this filed a half tone for DTF and I'm going to show you both ways. First with DT prep and then I'll just do it with Photoshop. But with the plugin, I'm going to enable color knockout and click and select this black background. I've got my frequency at 35 and 26 with a round dot. So I'm going to click run. With the sliders set to default, let's take a look at the original the shirt and the alpha channel, which is the transfer itself. And if we get in here really close, I was worried about losing some of the starburst, but it did a pretty good job. I will go to the shadow end and highlight, and I'm going to push that number up some and watch so I can clear out some of this area here. And now back to the shirt versus the transfer. I'm gonna go with this and hit apply. Now back to the original, let's do it in Photoshop by making a copy and then right clicking and converting to a smart object. We'll double click into that smart object and then go to image mode grayscale. Next, we'll bring out the levels and we'll make some adjustments here with the highlights, bringing those way over. I'll go ahead and hit OK. Go to image mode bitmap, halftone screen. We'll set to that same 35 and 26 on the angle and hit OK. Now we'll close and save. Back over here, we'll select all and copy. Add a layer mask to our original art and then hold the option or alt key down and click and then paste. And now when we click back on the art, and as you can see, this is what we're looking at here. If we go to the other one, you can see we have preserved a lot more of this midtone range here. The bottom line is when I'm using the plugin, I can see the outcome dynamically. And for me, that's why I use it for most halftone work. 